Hi, good morning. It's Saturday the 14th of uh, August uh, 2021. Hope everybody had a good week. Um, a lot of things premiered this week, so it's kind of good in that way. Um, Superman Lois came back. Uh, Stargirl came back. And um, also Titans debuted and What If also. Um, just to give you a little context, I... Uh, my Superman and Lois and my Stargirl review are on my channel, this channel, and I have to upload my unedited versions of those to my patron, which I'm going to do today, probably sometime. And um, it's just, like I said, a lot of things premiered this week, so, you know, it was a lot of rushing, you know, like I said, I work, so it's kind of hard for me to, when I get home, you know, you know, to record stuff and then have to try to edit it and stuff. So I, I tried to push that, the stuff for my patron back until today. Uh... Although, like I said, last night I recorded uh, my reaction to uh, the What If episode. And um, I have it here, but I tried to edit it on my phone like I normally do. But I was running into uh, this issue with it trying to uh, edit out the part. So I think I may have to go old school and upload it to my computer and put it in Movie Maker and edit it that way. I may have to do that because I tried to do it both ways last night, you know, with, you know, the, you know dropping it out the video out of the uh my reaction to it but it kept not matching up even though I tried to make sure that I uh you know I I when I cuz I I cut out the, like the intro of it and and my reaction at the same time but still for some reason it didn't line up the right way and then when I try to edit edit the full reaction with the video in it uh it's it's like it's not um I was going to say because normally I, I could move it, you know, when I move it down to edit out parts, uh, usually I have a lot more space, it seems like. For some reason, it seems like it's, uh, when I'm trying to edit it, it it um, it um doesn't give me enough space. So it's like, too, it's too little for me to like, to, you know, delete like I normally do. Uh, but I'm, I'm, think, I'm trying to think if, if there's something in the way that I recorded it. Uh, so... I may have to try to record it again and see if I, I'm just going to experiment one last time with it and see if I can get it to, if I can get edit it the way I normally would. Sorry about that, Those stupid people honking horns. Ah, uh, come on already. This is stupid. Either that or somebody um, bumped into a car. idiots anyway uh, uh like i said um what i'm what i'm gonna do is um like i said i'm gonna try one last time and record it the way and i have it recorded just you know render it and then see if i can edit it the way i normally do like if i have enough space usually like i said i usually have enough space to you know to cut out parts and then move it along but for some reason it seems like it's too tight a fit like it's cutting out part of uh the video where you can see it it's like cutting it out and if i try to record it in movie maker and then move it over for some reason movie maker acts is acting very wacky i get a lot of green screen and all that stuff that's why i don't use movie maker anymore i use you know video leap because that's just a better app for editing my videos and stuff um but like i said i can, I can try to record it one last time and then see if I can edit it one more time here with enough space. If not, then I'll just, what I'll do is, because what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to, my stepfather went to wash our clothes right now. And I got to wait for him to come back, which he should be back probably in an hour. Right now it's like 8.57. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what, my phone, you know, I'm, I got this propped up against some uh, video, uh, uh, videos against uh, <laughs> some uh, VHS tapes and reluctantly I guess it was leaning too much that way and it fell over sorry about that I'll leave that in it makes it more real <laughs> anyway um, but yeah uh, when he comes back I'm gonna uh, what, what I'm gonna get up after I finish uh, rendering this I'm going to uh, get up and um, and wash up and then eat some breakfast try to eat some breakfast before he comes comes back <laughs> so that way I can uh because I got to 
because unfortunately my building, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned this in my blog before, they're working on the elevator in my building. They've been working on it for the past month and a half. And I think it's supposed to be, you know, they're making it digital, up, they're modernizing it. Okay, so it's going to be digital. And they have the, you can see on the elevator back, they have the digital things on there now. But I guess they're still working on it. And I think sometime this month they're supposed to be finished with it. But right now you got to walk up the steps. And so, you know, my stepfather, he's like in his 80s. So, I, you know, he can take the cart down the steps, but I have to help him bring it back up, you know, the steps, which I can do no problem. That's um, So I'll wait for him to call me and I can go downstairs and pick it up and, and grab it in there. So I'm going to, I'm going to, this morning I'm going to watch and do my reaction to the Titans. Uh, uh, the first three episodes, which they dropped and see what I'm going to do with the Titans. And I already made that decision because I think it's just a better way to go. Because then I'll, I'll be editing all day long, which I, you know, even though I'm off, that's just like too, too much to do. And then hope, like I said, thankfully they're going back to one episode a week <laughs> and that'll be a lot easier to, to render, you know, I can watch it on, you know, and then edit it. I can watch it probably on Friday and then uh, render the, re render it on Saturday. Okay. But what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, uh, record my reaction for, and those are going to go on my patron channel, the unedited versions. And what I'll do, I'll do like I did for the first two seasons. I'll just give you a spoilers review of it. And that's what I did for the first two seasons because I went back to check my videos because it's been a while since Titan season two, you know, the pandemic and everything. And what I used to do is I used to, uh, you know, put the green screen behind me and uh, record my reaction, you know, my spoilers review of Titans like that. And so I think I'll do that again. So it's just easier that way to do it rather than try to have another video to edit. <laughs> Okay, I just think it's just better that way, and and I'll do a spoilers, you know, and I always put spoilers in it because with Titans, you know, I always want to discuss things, so I do, I do my videos reviews of Titans with spoilers in it. Okay, and I'm looking forward to this season because it looks good from what I've seen so far. Okay, anyway, um, so I got a lot of things to do today. There's gonna be a digital code giveaway contest, so I got to record that video as well, and later in, so that way I'm gonna upload that one and just time it to debut tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. And then what I'll do is, um, uh, what am I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, what I want to do is, um, yeah, so, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm thinking three things ahead of myself. So what I'm, this is the basic schedule of what I'm going to do today. Right now I'm rendering this and I'm going to upload this to, my, I'm going to put my intro and stuff on it and then upload this to my uh, computer so it's there on my computer, and then I just got to upload it. And I'll probably do that uh, before I go out, you know, to go food shopping and stuff. Uh, up, I'll probably upload uh, the embed vlog. But what I'm going to do in the meantime is after I finish rendering this, and I'm going to see if I'm going to get up and wash up, eat my breath, and then I'm going to see if I can edit uh, What If on my phone again. If I can't do that, I'm going to upload it to my computer and see if I can... Um, uh, put it in Movie Maker and edit it that way, because uh, like I said, for some reason it's just uh, I'm not able to. Like it's like it's it, it's like it's cutting out, it's cutting it short. Like normally I have enough space to edit it, but some for some reason it seems like it's the space is too tight. So when I move, because what I usually do is I, you know, sh show you 15 seconds of the video and then I advance it like 20 seconds, edit that out, and then you know do another 15 seconds like that. And but for some reason, it, you know, it seems like it's it's just too tight a fit where I can't edit it out. And when I tried to edit the video out, you know, where you drop out the video during certain spots of the review, it was it was uh, not matching up, which I don't understand why it wouldn't match up. Because normally it does it doesn't advance, but uh, I'll see if I if I can't, I'll just like I said, I'll render it to the because it's only a half an hour. So while I'm uh, watching Titans and stuff and recording my reactions to the Titans. Uh, um, that'll be rendering, that video will be rendering and it'll be on my computer so that it'll take, because Movie Maker, like I said before, I think I mentioned the other videos before, I stopped using Movie Maker because it was just taking too long to render. But it's, uh, what if it's only like a half hour? So those three hours that I'm watching Titans, that should be enough, more than enough time for it to render. And then I can edit it in Movie Maker, you know, and then, and then up, and then, you know, rent, you know, rec let it render and then upload it to my uh um to my uh, web uh, youtube page um superman and lois and and uh and 
Superman Lost, excuse me, and and Star Girl, uh, Superman Lost went right up when I uh, put that up on my computer, you know, my web channel. You know, I just dropped out the videos in certain spots for that because normally what I would do is just I was originally what I used to do is I used to uh, render the video, put it in Movie Maker, and I used to um, make it backwards and then speed up the volume and stuff, and then cut out certain parts of it, and then sometimes it would get blocked, but most of the time it would go through. And then I decided to do the thing where you drop out the video, like I see a lot of YouTubers do, and then that used to, get, I used to get blocked. So I used to say screw it, I went back to doing it my way, and I used to put the like the X's on it and stuff. But uh, I, I found now that if, if, if what I do is, especially with the CW shows, if I uh, render it and you know if I edit it in, on my phone here, and just cut out the 15 seconds event, no, play 15 seconds, cut out 20 seconds, and then just render it that way and upload it. It'll, it might get blocked initially, then I'll peel it, and then they a day later, they let it go through. So uh, that's what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. But this past week, what, cause, because I was having trouble editing, I was just dropping out, dropping out the video in certain spots, and they let that go through for Superman and Lois. Stargirl, they, I peeled that. So I think now if I check my computer, uh, my web page, it should probably, unblo it's probably unblocked now. Uh, so I have to ch double check that. But anyway, sorry, enough technical stuff. You're getting all this behind the scenes stuff. Anyway, a uh, uh, few things in my personal life that's going on. My uh, my sister, she closed on a house, her and her husband. Uh, so I'm happy for them. And also my brother, my other, my oldest brother sent me a picture for my younger brother who lives up in Albany. Uh, he went up for Job Corps years ago. I don't know how many years ago. It was 20 something years ago. My mother sent him up to uh, Job Corps in Albany. And he stayed up there ever since. He's now he, you know, he has a family up there and stuff. And he, you know, he's like a foreman in a factory somewhere up there. And he also, you know, you know, he has a family up there. And he, he also closed in the house. My brother sent me pictures of the house that my brother, uh, that he brought for his family. It looks absolutely beautiful. I was looking through the scrolling through it. it has a backyard, a nice deck on it. And like I said, my brother's been up there like twenty something years. I remember I was in the service. That's how long ago it was. When my mother sent him up there to Job Corps, and he went up there, and he stayed up there ever since. You know, he hasn't come back, and he he's built a life for himself. You know, he has this big van. He's like a suburban dad. He has a uh, a van, a big van. He has you know the wife and two daughters and two sons. So he's like a my youngest brother. He's like a suburban dad up there. So I'm really proud and happy for him. But anyway, in my also my my own personal life, uh, the people that I invest with. My 401k, they called me, a guy called me when I was actually on vacation and what I do. And he wanted to talk about investing and stuff with my money and stuff because my money is, is sitting in my 401k. So he talked to me and I'm going to get back to him actually this week because he sent me, you know, he, we had a, a call on Thursday, not this Thursday, the past Thursday before that, where he, he broke it down about how my money can grow and all that stuff. And I'm going to uh, call him back and tell him, and tell him to go ahead and invest it in in the way that he's got wants to invest it so my money could grow because I I want to work for another hopefully another maybe another ten years maybe less than that and then I want to retire and I'm gonna leave New York unfortunately I like New York and I like the change of of seasons and all that stuff but New York is way too expensive to live in and and just so I'm gonna see if I can move to another state uh maybe somewhere like although like I I keep thinking in my head Arizona and stuff but. That's kind of like dry heat, and they don't. Have, I don't know if they have the change of weather that I'm looking for. I don't mind the change of weather, and I would rather have that than it be perpetually hot. <laughs> and so I like the fall, like in New York, I like the fall, and, and even the winter weather. Weather so much, not the snow so much, but that's the you know, the winter weather. I like that because I guess I'm used to it. So, but I'll but I'm definitely gonna. Move. I ain't moving to Florida. I can I tell you that much. Uh, but somewhere where it's a nice climate, where it's nice. And even since it's a small town where I can buy like myself a little house or a condo or something. I, although I'm not, I'm thinking more and more not a condo, like a little house that's just mine and I can live in it and I can have a nice little backyard. I can, you know, if, if I want to work on like a part-time job, if I want to, I can do that. I'll be getting my social security and plus my, you know, and my, I have my savings to, you know, and my, uh, my money that I invested in there, I can do that. So that's what I'm, that's what what I'm thinking about, and also I also got a um, estimate because before I went on vacation, 
I was going to uh, get a tooth extracted. And I went to the dentist, you know, they gave me a referral and it took me like forever to get an appointment. It took me like a month, <laughs> you know, to get an appointment, I'm like a month out. I had, it was like ridiculous. But anyway, I got that appointment. I went there and then they were saying that, listen, because I was telling them, listen, you pull the tooth, but I also want to see if I can get an implant, you know, to replace the tooth you pull. And they said, yeah, we can do that, but we'll, you know, we'll contact the insurance company and tell them how much it's going to cost. And then we'll get back to, you know, we'll send you, they'll send you a letter. And they finally did send me an estimate this week. And it's like, it's like $3,000 or something like that. And they said, my insurance company will pay like, like 1600 of it or something. And I, that's, and I looked, I said, geez, an implant, it's like $2,500 just for, for the implant. I said, this is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm thinking I'm going to call the insurance company on Monday because I have a few questions about that because we have a certain limit that you have every year, the insurance that they'll pay. I think it's up to like $1,000 or something like that that they'll pay and then the rest you have to pay. Uh, and then, but they yet they said in this letter that they'll pay the 1668, I guess, for the, um, you know, for the, out of the total and then I'll pay the balance of it, I guess, which is over like $2,000. And I was thinking uh, maybe it's, better if I have the root canal. I was trying not to get the root canal, but because the dentist told me initially that if you get the root canal, you know, you know, you get the temporary, you know, cap. And he said he didn't know if that would last, but uh, maybe I have to talk to the insurance company and then I'll talk to the dentist because he has the same paperwork. He should have got it the same time I got it. And maybe it'll be cheaper to get the root canal. And not that I'm crazy about getting a root canal, but, you know, paying $2,000 for, for, you know, for a one tooth, it's kind of seems kind of ridiculous to me, but uh, uh, I'll talk with the. I got to talk to the insurance company first because I just want to make sure that I'm we're on the same page. Because I also don't want to pay pay for this and then for the rest of the year I can't go to the dentist. That I'm screwed. Basically, money anything else that I have to pay for, I would have to get out pay out of pocket until the new to the new year. Because that that to me before uh, a couple of years ago when I got this bridge in my tooth. You know, I had a couple of fillings done, and I got this bridge. You know, they pulled the teeth, and then they gave me this bridge, and then they said that's all the money you have for the year. So basically, I had to wait till the new year to to go back to the dentist. I was, I would have to wait until the new year to, because I used up all the money for the year. So I want to make sure that's not. I want to make sure, and maybe it'll be simpler just to get the root canal because that's cheaper than the than pulling the tooth and. You know, get doing the bone graft and then giving me the implant. The, get the root canal, which I think will probably be two visits. I think normally I think that's root canal is like usually two visits, and then if I have to go back to the dentist before the end of the year, I'll have money for that. You know, I don't want to like blow my load, so to speak, in terms of uh going to the dentist. That's why I have to I have to talk to the uh, insurance company first just to make sure about that, and then I'll call the dentist to find out. Uh, but I don't think I have to go back to this because the, the dentist gave me a referral because the dentist office I go to, they don't do the, uh, you know, you have to go to oral surgeon for them to, you know, pull the tooth and stuff and get the implant. Uh, well, I think just to pull the tooth, you got to go to oral, oral surgeon. Uh, but the place I go to, I think they can do the root canal over there. So I may, what I have to, may wind up doing is uh, talking to the dentist and see, you know, he said, he'll, he'll probably tell me, yeah, the root canal is cheaper. Okay, and, and it's that... It's the way to go. I'll go, uh, even though I'm, th I'm I am, th I am thinking about uh, just paying the two thousand. I just want to make sure I'm able to go to the dentist just in case, uh, before the end of the year, in case anything happens. I don't want to be effed where I have to pay out of pocket to go to the dentist because I'm screwed insurance wise. I used up all my money for the year basically. And that's what. So maybe it'd be simpler just to get the root canal, you know, and then, you know, have money left so in case I have to go to the dentist for anything for before the end of the year okay just you know and like i said you got a couple you know you got september october november december that's four months just in case anything happens i want to make sure that my insurance ain't used up for the year and that i have to pay out of my pocket anyway okay so i just want to i'll clarify that anyway so that's that uh anyway um yeah so i think that's it right so i think that's all i wanted to say yeah so today is going to be a big day for me a uh, big day, but oh yeah, I did want to mention this as well. Um, a couple of years ago, I was getting these cramps in my stomach. Like 2019, I was getting these like muscle cramps in my stomach, and it was like really, you know, 
really like painful, like muscle pulls in my stomach. And I, I went to the, you know, went to the clinic. They gave me a referral. I went to the specialist. And then she asked me, of course, did you ever, you know, have a colonoscopy? And at that point, I'd never did. Of course, since you're in a certain age bracket and you're over 50, you know, you should, you know, they always tell you that you should have a colonoscopy. And I had that done. And then, uh, and they also gave me uh, these pills and, you know, for bloating and for get pain, gas, bloating and nausea. And um, she gave me those and I had the, um, the colonoscopy. And soon after that, you know, they gave me these pills to take. And, and like soon after that, I had the colonoscopy, the, you know, the pain went away. And they told me that, you know, she told me to go back in another three years and get another colonoscopy, which is, so I'm scheduled for that to have that next year. That'll be three years. Uh, so I can do that, you know, have an, another colonoscopy next year. So actually, like I said, the, that pain, you know, went away. I didn't, this thing has, according to this prescription, this thing was supposed to, you know, 60 pills in here, and they were supposed to give me uh, five refills on this, but I never, you know, did, like I said, because the pain, you know, the pain went away, so I didn't really, I used it every once in a while, it would come back, so I would take a pill here and there, but it never came back. Like I said, I still have pills in, in this thing from this thing from two years ago, okay, and so I never, you know, I didn't worry about it, and then, but when I came back from my vacation, you know, I really, you know, that pain... It was not not every day, but I could feel the pain during certain parts of the day. It would that pain would come back, that kind of muscle pain in my stomach. So, you know, I I said, you know what, let me uh, go back to the doctor. So what I'm I think what I will do is um um maybe later today I should I should go to the doc. I I think I want to. Let's go to the doctor and we'll get the re get another referral. I'll go back to the clinic and get another referral, and see if I can get a get a refill on these and then get a referral so I can go see a specialist because, like I said, this pain, like yesterday, it was really I was really feeling it yesterday, uh, yesterday evening. I just I was just really feeling it, and they just said, you know what, <laughs> let me go to the doctor today and just go, because I have to get a you know I want to go get another referral. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, what I'll do is, when I leave here, or after I, you know, we do my Titans thing, I want to go to the, go to the clinic. I can go today, or I may have to go tomorrow in the morning and go to the doctor and see if I can get a refill of these pills. That's why I think I'm going to go today, because the pharmacy may be closed tomorrow, so I don't want to chance it. You know, I think I have enough pills to get me through, too, but like I said, it, I think it'd be better if I go today, like... When I leave here, I'll walk to Fordham, go to the sign in for the for the dentist, not dentist, for the doctor, and tell them my issues and stuff, and see if I can get a referral, and see if I can get a refill on these pills. You know, because these pills they do seem to work to calm my stomach down. It does, you know, it like relaxes it. So they do seem to. Work. This is diclamine, diclamine HCL, ten milligrams. Okay, you're supposed to take one to two. And they do seem to work uh, for me. They, you know, they calm my stomach down and the pain goes away. But I want to make sure there's nothing more serious wrong with me. Like, I don't got an appendectomy or an ulcer or something. Or, you know, that's why I want to see another specialist and see if they can, you know, take blood or something and, you know, and see what, maybe an MRI and see exactly, you know, these digestive issues. Maybe that's what's causing it or something. Because I, you know, I, I, I definitely want to make sure there's nothing serious, you know. You know, once you get us above a certain age, you want to make sure that you don't have these issues. Okay, so anyway, um, that's it. Uh, that's I think that's all I want to say. So, uh, hopefully, like I said, when I get the appointment, yeah, uh, and hopefully they can, they can figure it out. Anyway, uh, now things today. So th this is the agenda. Right now, it's. Nine eleven, nine yeah, nine eleven a.m. I'm gonna get up, wash up, uh, eat my breakfast. I'm gonna render this, <laughs> okay, and upload this one and uh, see if I can do the uh, uh, what if reaction again. If I can edit it again, if I can't edit it again, I'll just upload it to my computer and just have it render while I'm recording my Titans reaction. Like I said, my stepfather should be coming back probably around ten o'clock. From the uh, from the uh, 
uh, laundromat and I'll help them carry the clothes upstairs and then I'll record my reactions to Titans. Okay, and then I'll, you know, get dressed and see if I can walk to Fordham and see the doctor and get a referral and get some more uh, refill on these pills and uh, get a referral so I can see the specialist. And, uh, yeah, and then come back and do my food shopping and stuff and pick my clothes out from the cleaners and then come back and then I'll see if I can upload, uh, either edit the Titans, no, 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 edit the, uh, I'm not editing the Titans. The Titans is going on my Patreon, so I can upload those to my Patreon. Uh, I can uh, record my, re uh, my normal reviews for the Titans. Oh, okay, record those with the green screen and see if I can edit the what if video as well. Okay, and then record later my uh, digital code giveaway contest video. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff to do today. So anyway, uh, sorry about the rambling. Uh, um, also, my so links to my social media are in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, I have a link to my other channel for views and opinions. Please check that out as well. And I haven't recorded a video for that channel in a while. And I, and I, I hate not doing that, putting content on there. But there's so much stuff that i got to do. It's, it's getting to be a chore, to be, to be honest. Uh, anyway, also I have a link to my Patreon channel down below. Uh, check that out. It's only $5 a month. And I also want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you for him for supporting me. And again, my patron is only $5 a month. Tons of content on there. Okay, last thing I put on there was Stargirl Season 1. All the Season 1 that's up on there on the patron. So, uh, again, tons of TV show reacts to The Mandalorian, uh, The Boy Season 2, The Mandalorian Season 2, uh, WandaVision on there, Loki, uh, Snyder Cut, four parts, uh, and right now I'm going to put Stargirl Season 2 on there, and Superman and Lois, so tons of content on there. Please follow the link below and check it out, and if you want to join and help support me, I truly appreciate it. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.